All righty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? You have a I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him? Can't say, Zhang Pai. Tell me. It it looks like a fish. Death. Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? Think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter? Gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Have a nice day. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back.
Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here.
Fuck no. Yeah, you said it. Fubar and then son. I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. See that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? Oh, God, no. Charlie! Oh! 
Hello, and welcome to my repository. I am the curator the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made.
Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. I wanted to. I just didn't didn't have time, you know. I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded. So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Dude, you know I'm not, like, the best around new people, or whatever. Just shut up. Brad, you're not on this trip because you're my bro. I mean, you are my brother, but, I mean, like, we're buddies, you know? Um, kinda. I'm just out here to fucking hang, cool out, and kick it. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's just kick it and be legends, man. <laughs> All right, amigo, Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy, I'm just... We knew medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? How to know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Hey! Sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey. What's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. <laughs> Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Yeah. yeah cool. Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. Sorry, but that excuse does not hold water. Right on, Radical. I like the cut of your ship. Uh, it's Jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Yeah. Totally. All the time. Nice. I was worried they are going to stick me with a noob. Oh, uh, nope. Not noob. I can practically breathe underwater at this point. So you uh, dive a lot? A couple, three times, you know, here and there, family trips. Where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're 
selling, I'm buying. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh, boy. Let's see those hot pigs. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. I was so sure it would be here. But yeah, I mean, what are the odds we're really gonna find a needle in a haystack? I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, the kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, Who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Oh, I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? <sighs> we should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Hmm. I don't think there might be a way in. This doesn't look kosher. I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me.
Jeez, man. You should know how to handle your liquor. Lay off. I was just trying to bond with Conrad, like you said. My guzzling bruise? Come on. Okay, okay. You go hit the high seas. Ugh. I'll be up when I'm good. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Almost got the gear good to go. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Yeah, I know. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Hey. Hey, back. You know how to use that? Uh, no. Not really. Might want to just let it do its thing. Hey guys, tanks are ready. Tanks a lot. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Fliss, we paid a lot of money for this particular dive, in this particular spot. Every time I take a group of you people out, it's the same thing. No regard for anyone else's customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Dived a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Fine. I get it. How much? How much what? How much money will it take for you to stop breathing down her necks? You... <laughs> this is not about the money. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble.
Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate, Captain. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about right, you. Kids. Ha ha. Good to go. You ever have to use one? On Just a shark? Remember the nope. rules, please. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. This is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. <laughs> 